Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm going to attempt to root my Motorola Atrix running the 2.3.4 Gingerbread, also known as 4.5.91. Uh, basically, I've been looking around trying to find an easy way, and uh, I stumbled upon this uh, website here uh, on the uh, forum, uh, the XDA Developers Forum. And uh, apparently, there's some script that has all the magic inner workings to get um, the uh, gingerbread uh, rooted and uh, to unlock the bootloader. So the first thing we got to do is unlocking, unlock the bootloader and then uh, we'll be able to root this. Now uh, hopefully this works because uh, I haven't tried it yet and so before I start I just want to say back up your stuff. Um, doing such things can break your phone to where you have to claim an RMA with Motorola or whatever however you go about getting another phone. Um, this phone that I have is the AT&T Motorola Atrix 4G with the stock, bone stock, over-the-air update uh, to 2.3.4 gingerbread. And so I'm going to go ahead and um, start with this process. Now, before we begin, I have to install drivers, which you can get from the Motorola website. I will provide a link um, in the description on getting the drivers. Uh, whether you have 32 or 64 bit um, shouldn't matter. It should uh, work for both, I think. All right, and then um, before I uh, get started with all this stuff, I usually like to plug in the phone first once, at least mm -hmm. once, um, just so that it installs all the proper drivers. So as you can see there. I installed uh, these basic drivers, but it's not done yet, right? So what you should also do is set the phone in for your USB uh, connection settings, right? If it's set to none, then uh, set it to USB mass storage and press OK. And so that your phone will recognize uh, mass storage mm -hmm drivers so you see there I set it back to uh, none and uh, it installed some more drivers and then what you should also do is go to applications then development and USB debugging right and when you do that it installs uh, even more drivers as much as uh, it even goes out to the internet and tries to find uh, the latest drivers for this. So uh, let's wait till that finishes. Alright, so that's it. We're finished with that. So then I'll go ahead and click close. And then now I'm just going to unplug my phone. And uh, let's follow these instructions that I found here. Right, so um, unlocking the bootloader from what I've read online voids your warranty. So maybe you won't be able to claim RMA with Motorola on this. So do this at your own risk. If I have success, maybe you can replicate this. Um, there's also um, uh, stuff in here that says uh, you might soft brick your phone, but it's okay. It's uh, normal. There's a way you can get out of it. Um, and so let's go ahead and start All right so I've downloaded the attached file oh this is the USB drivers for uh, the phone I've downloaded the attached file from this mega upload link and so I need to unzip it which oh uh, which is this file here and I'll just right click go to 7-zip extract files okay right now I need to run main which is this file here right so this new DOS looking box opens up and then follow the on-string instructions alright so let's see here I wanna do the automatic bootloader unlock for AT&T Atrix 4G only number one enter Follow each step carefully. Disconnect the USB cable from the phone. Turn off your phone. So I'm turning off my phone now. Right, so my phone is off. 
Now it says press the volume up key and hold while you turn it on. So press volume up and then turn on. Wait until the tag starting RSD protocol support comes up. All right. Release the volume up key. Press any key to continue. I'm also going to let go of the power key, even though it doesn't say. I'm guessing, I'm hoping that's what I do. So I'm plugging in my phone now. Right? And then it's installing drivers. So here it is. <clears throat> let it finish installing. Don't press a key yet. Okay, so it's finished installing the drivers. Now I'm going to press a key to continue. Alright, please select your actual AT&T version. I'm on 2.3.4 slash 4.5.91, number 3. So, I'm choosing number 3. Oh. I don't know why this came up. Now, looks like it's flashing something, doing some magic. This is a little scary. I don't know what's going on here. So I'm supposed to just wait until the reboot is complete. So when this reboots, I was rebooting now. Which, by the way, when you plug this, uh, USB in, plug it directly into a USB port, don't use a hub. Alright, so apparently I got the uh, failed to boot error on my phone, right? A little scary, but there's instructions here. Alright, so what ended up happening was that uh, after I got the failed to boot error, I uh, pulled the battery out and waited 30 seconds, plugged it back in, and uh, I got the failed to boot screen and I pressed the down arrow key to where I got to the uh, fast boot section and then when I got to the fast boot section I pressed the up key and that puts it in the fast boot mode and then uh, the phone is plugged in into the computer and I press next um, on the command prompt uh, press next again and then wait in and then it uh, did the uh, fast boot OEM unlocked and it generate a unique uh, ID which is similar to this screen right here right and then it'll ask you to press a key and then you gotta enter in the uh, unique ID number which is right here right and then it unlocks your device so that's it um, I have my phone unlocked. Sorry I couldn't get the video for you. I don't know what happened or what I did, but um, uh, I wasn't able to record that part. So there it is, unlocked. A uh, little bit of disclaimer here. First off, it will erase everything. Everything will be gone. Back everything up. Back up your programs. Back up your pictures, your messages, whatever. Your SD card. Back everything up. Everything will be deleted. Secondly, I don't know, like I said, I don't know if this works for any other um, uh, Atrixes out there, like the uh, Bell Atrix or the uh, Canadian Atrix or the UK or European whatever, any other Atrix. All I know, this is the Atrix 2.3.4 over the air updated uh, bone stock AT&T Atrix and uh, I now have a rooted Motorola Atrix. Um, that's pretty much it. Hope this helps. Remember, do all the research that you could possibly do. Read all the instructions that's included with this program here. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please uh, comment if you had success on this um, and what kind of Atrix you have. You followed everything. If you came across any any errors or whatever or something, and what you did to fix it or whatever. Uh, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever, um, on this video and my channel. Thanks for watching. Johnny the Geek out. Peace!